Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please do hit the like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this video on my channel. This is going to be a Virgo reading um, for all Virgos, all and only Virgos. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And as per usual, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits. You can leave the rest. Um, everything you need to know how to contact me for a reading, follow me on Instagram. All other information is in the description box below. All right. Thank you for all your support for my channel. I'm truly, truly grateful for this. And I absolutely love bringing these videos to you and these messages. All right. So let's get started. I'm going to take a look at the past energy for whomever you may be connecting with. Okay. Queen of Swords, Ten of Wands, Eight of Swords. Hmm, this feels like a um, continuation of yesterday. <sighs> yesterday's video um all right let's see current the empress queen of pentacles that's you you're right the center of your reading and the knight of swords and the future you have the eight of cups the three of wands the king of swords wow first time ever that the emperor well has not shown up yet um, and the only major arcana is the Empress. So that's Libra, could be Taurus, we have Gemini, Aquarius, um, you, a Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. Mm, let's see. Past energy. I saw the Queen of Swords in yesterday's video where the Queen of Swords was causing a lot of, I felt like some drama or some problems. And I feel like if that resonated yesterday's video, and then that's coming to an end, right? That's it. <laughs> Whatever happened, and it, it just felt, it feels like if, if that reading yesterday, and if you haven't listened to it, go back and listen to it. But if that resonated for you, this person is like <clears throat> done with the drama. Um, too much of a burden to carry. Okay, um, the Eight of Swords, they were might have been playing the victim, okay? Um, and this could go for your past person, male or female as well, like a lover, but there was an energy here of like carrying, like the burden of like playing this victim, self-imposed prisoner kind of thing, like poor me, right? Um, if that resonated, I feel like that's coming to an end. If this is someone, if that didn't resonate, that this is your past person, male or female, um, the energy of this person was like really like sharp. Sometimes that Queen of Swords can be like blunt, very blunt, can be a bit offensive. Maybe not trying to be offensive, but lacking tact when she speaks. Now, that, now please. If you're a cross watcher and you're an air sign listening for Virgo, I, I do, I know I have a very good friend. She's a Libra and she is lovely and she's not ever in that energy. Okay. Um, usually if the queen of swords is in the reverse, then she would come across as being very cold and rigid with her logic. She lies and she's unkind. I don't feel like that's the energy. I just feel like the queen of swords in the upright you know, she's like completely honest, but sometimes it's just because she sees the truth of things, male or female, and sometimes the truth hurts. And I feel like that, that is the energy of the person from the past. Um, but the problem with that is that their mouth got them into hot water a lot of the time. And I feel like in the past, they just gave up. Like it was just too much of a, their mouth. It seems like the things that this person may have said to you actually hurt them more than it hurt you, okay? And because of the way they spoke or the communication that they had with you, lacking some compassion and understanding with you, um, look, here's justice, okay? For some of you, it's definitely a Libra you are connecting with, or some of you, you know, could be on the cusp of Libra, of Virgo Libra, but... Whatever the energy here is like some hard, cold truth came out. There might have been like, for some of you, a divorce. Maybe this person said that they felt trapped 
in a, a relationship or a marriage and it was too much weight for them to carry but the way they told you or the way they said it was very cutting and like there's no cup energy there not yet okay this person probably said they were playing the victim or just saying they felt like they were carrying the weight of the relationship, but I don't feel like it was true. I feel like they were just saying that to get you to feel sorry for them. Page of Pentacles, like they were the, they always had to go out and make the money. They always had to do this. You know, like that, you know, like looking for appreciation, but blaming you for why they weren't getting it. I mean, maybe you weren't giving it, but that's not the way to do it. That's not the way to communicate with someone um, to cut them down. That just drives more of a wedge, right? Um, maybe they took you to court. Um, they couldn't. Uh, they couldn't do anything anymore. They wouldn't pay for anything. It was too much of a burden to have to pay. Or now they are or they were forced in the past to pay for something and it was like they were blaming you or it was like a burden and it left them trapped and restricted just harsh energy okay harsh energy you know whether it was a marriage or a legal connection that you have with this person or um uh, some kind of relationship that you had something to do with each other you know and I feel like this person's intention was to seek like um, a win-win solution, but it didn't come out like that, okay? Um, it was more like a cause and effect, like because of you, this is what happened, that kind of thing. Blaming. I just feel like a, a real blaming energy. All the sword energy, the ace of swords, yep. Communicating with you, harsh, clear, you know, sometimes this could be like creating new conflict. This person may have created conflict in order to have something to feel like get you to feel bad about about them. I don't like this past person. I don't like this. <laughs> I mean, I feel like they they thought they were being fair with you. You know, it's just I just feel an element of harshness. Like there's no cups. There's no emotion. There's no compassion. There's no understanding. That kind of thing. Okay. Oh, and here's the nine of cups. And it fell sideways. So that kind of makes me feel like this person was just trying to get their wishes and needs met on an emotional level. And they really didn't know how. Nine of cups is sitting sideways. You know, instead, you know, there was an element of like greed Maybe this person was gaining weight and blaming you on why they were gaining weight um, or saying it was just stress or they're a victim or they can't do something or they, you know, they were always looking for quick results, um, being a bit lazy, you know, trying to make their manifest their wishes and just not being able to do it. And it just feels like blamed you for something and then they cut out. Six of Wands could very well be just quite egotistical. Okay. Um, it was like done in vain. It was for their own glory which is harsh. That's just terrible. 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 Sorry. I'm sorry if you went through that. Um, but the Empress is here currently with the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you are connecting very closely with your mother. Some of you have moved back home. You're currently moving back home, getting a lifestyle change. Something in the past ended and you're getting back on your feet. Either you have a, um, you have a female, like a grandmother or a mother or um, an older friend or a sister who's in much, a much better position and able to help you. This person has, um, was very compassionate and loving and warm and quite nurturing. She could be pregnant, um, you know, could be a younger sister who's just very wise or a female in your life who's, you know, the Empress is like, all, has all the abundance. You know, you go to the Empress's house and, you know, she's got plenty of, of she makes you dinner. She gives you, she feeds you, you know, she's inspiring. Um, she knows how to communicate with you, but she has like a just this, she's very nurturing and supportive, you know, she's resourceful, she, she's domesticated, she helps you figure things out, she helps you find ways to, uh, she, she provides resources to help you with things, um, you know, she's honest with you, but she's not brutal, okay, she's, she's truthful, she won't blow smoke, 
all right, this, you know, male or female, whomever it is, you know, she, she's, um, she's pretty confident, self-assured, she's feisty, okay, she's intentional, she's solid, like, she's very supportive type of a person that's surrounding you going forward, okay, and I feel like with the Knight of Swords, you are making some kind of change in your life, maybe just trying to level up from the Queen of Pentacles or the King of Pentacles to the Empress or the Emperor, okay? You got that going on right now here, currently. Um, let's take a look at this Empress. What's going on with her? Mm, Four of Cups, okay. The Empress is telling you to like stop going back to this person. You know, I'm all about the love and healing. But I am, I'm, I'm not about the conflict and the abuse. And even if this is something that you need to like, you needed to get away from for a while to save your sanity, absolutely. Because you can't, you know, if someone's adverse to seeing their behavior and their actions and they just don't want to be accountable for things, then, you know, for you, I feel like this empress is kind of telling you like, you know, it's very unfulfilling situation, you know, um, and, and may have a gift for you to help you with something, give you some kind of a gift. But <clears throat> it feels like she wants you to find a way here currently um, to get a new outlook. Uh, should give you a new direction or a new option. You know, because you've been looking at those same cups and every time, the, every time that person from the past keeps bringing you a new cup, it's like insanity. It's it's like expecting this the same results over and over again. Uh, no, I said that wrong. What's the definition of insanity? Um, I can never. Whenever I have to recall a term, I can never remember it. Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. I feel like that's what she's going to tell you, or you already heard her say that, or this person say that to you. You keep. Virgo, you might keep going back to somebody who keeps causing drama and conflict in your life, or um, it could be a friend or a lover, whichever it might be, and you keep hoping that things are going to be different. The Empress is hit, sitting here saying, no, you got to have a new start. You have, to, you have to start over and do something differently here because that's what the Empress is about, rebirth or new, a new beginning, new birth. Let's take a look at your energy, Virgo, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, look, I see you. You're you're moving away. You're getting away, and your person is definitely seeing that you're 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 like you know what I'm I'm going away. I'm going to my mom's, or I'm going to my sister's. I'm gonna go spend some time with family and friends, or I'm gonna you know just get out of Dodge for a little while. Um, yeah, it's funny because I do feel like you're even though you're making this change, I do feel like whoever your person is is gonna come try to come or try to stop you or try to come where you are okay i don't feel like there's a threat this person is just all mouth if anything it might be like verbal you know this is aggression and assertiveness could be a friend or could be a lover you know and for some of you i just feel like i don't know you're gonna go to a day like a weekend spa you're trying to like Get yourself emotionally detached from something presently and like, I don't know, go like up your, level yourself up from the queen to the empress, pamper yourself. I don't know what's going on. I don't ever feel like the knight of swords is like possessive energy, but I'm feeling control. Yeah, three of swords, yeah. See, you're kind of like, oh, this person, wow. Yeah, uh, this must be related to yesterday's reading. I don't know if this person's like, I don't like using the term. I used the term yesterday, maybe just an egomaniac. I don't know what to call them. Um, I can't, I can't use like, I don't, I say it and then I'm just like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. I don't you know, like to use these medical terms like N-A-R-C. I don't like to say that because that just labels and, and unless you know for a fact that this person's like that, I mean, if you don't have like a medical diagnosis, I like to say, okay, maybe this person's just an egomaniac, whatever it might be. Um, I feel like if you're currently like making plans or, you know, thinking about like retreating for a little while, taking like a temporary getaway, oh, my back hurts. There might be like this thing where your person tries to stop you. 
they they do try but guess what virgo going forward they let you go and take your journey but they're going to be waiting for you to come back we got some king of swords here we started with the queen of swords now we have the king of swords so i don't know who um exactly your person is as far as signs go but i do feel you know it's the same person it could be a friend it could be a lover anybody you know your situation better than me um but yeah i feel like they're gonna let you go they're gonna try to stop you but that going forward they're gonna let you go on your little your not your little retreat i don't want to say like to invalidate you but they're definitely gonna let you keep a go they're gonna turn around and walk away but they're gonna go back where they are and wait for you to come back because they want to try to work on it with you. Let's get a look here at the Eight of Cups. Mm -hmm. oh, look at you, you've got strength. Um, oh, you're showing this person. You're not talking, you're not saying, you're not telling what you're doing. You're just showing them. That's what you're showing a sign of strength by walking away and they can't they can't overcome that they they know they can't overcome that because they cannot physically pick you up and put you in the car or drag you back to wherever you're leaving from so you're showing a sign of strength and courage here and they see it and that's why i feel like they're just gonna back away and let you go because you might just say i don't know the Eight of Cups is like disappearing. This is like leaving something, okay? For some of you, this could be a job situation, but it's a love reading. So, you know, under the love umbrella, you know, we've got romantic love. We've got friends, family, and acquaintances. So you choose, but let's take a look here. That's Leo energy there with the strength card. One more. Yep, High Priestess, your silence is showing strength. I think one of your readings that I've done last week had to do with silence. I don't know if this is a continuation of your story, but I think yesterday's reading was also about getting away. Uh, maybe you're still going to be thinking about that, but um, removing yourself from a situation and the Empress, I'm sorry, the High Priestess, that's, that's your major arcana card along with the Hermit. Um, and both of those cards represent going within and hiding out, getting clarity, seeking illumination, um, trusting your gut and your intuition, and showing a sign of strength here to remove yourself from something. Let's see. Now, this could be one person. This could be two people. Let's see the three of wands. Huh, you guys, I'm kill I'm dying. I can't with this. I can't with this emperor energy. I don't know why he shows up in your readings all the time. For some of you, if you listen to the past readings and you see that the emperor is there, some of you, your guardian angel is your father. If your father's passed away, he's been with you all this time. And for others, um, it could be a could be a someone you have children with, like the father of your children or the mother of your children. But the emperor and the empress are there, so this could be. Um, This person could be feeling like you're connecting with, you know, an Aries or somebody else. Oh, that's weird. I just saw that this guy's face and it just kind of freaked me out. I don't like the look of that. Devil, it felt very devilish. His face. Oh, creepy, creepy face. Um, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know about you, but if that might be somebody you recognize this person, maybe that they look familiar to you. I don't know. Um, they either they think you're some of you are going home to your mother and father, or you're, you're going to spend time with your mother currently, and then spend time with your father going forward. If they're split, if they're still here with you, um, and some of you, you know, your parents may not be here, and you're just going to like try to get away to connect spiritually with your parents like some kind of um childhood journey or you know connecting with them i feel like they're if your parents aren't with you anymore they're they are there with you 
or one of them and watching over you protecting you but this this emperor too um for some of you the emperor can represent military it can represent like authority and your person um could be waiting to see if you're contacting the authorities somebody's brothers in the military or as police or something that might be connected to this reading um, or it's a father figure okay now why is the king of swords here this creepy creepy king of swords i don't like his face well 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 that's your person from the beginning male or female with the eight of swords again this person i'm gonna tell you right now i don't know what you're gonna do but they're not changing they still have this victim mentality they still have this you know it's all uh it's not my fault that's what i'm hearing it's not my fault I don't really feel, I, I wasn't picking up that this person was making any changes. I feel like they were just causing conflict and then crying. The boy, who, the boy who cries wolf. That's what I feel like. I almost feel like I want to call it that, this reading. Like a wolf in sheep's clothing <laughs> or whatever, you know. I don't know. I don't like these next couple of readings. I don't know what's going on. We need more love. I was going to pull love messages but about how your person feels about you, but... I don't feel like I want to do that because I feel like you know who we're talking about and uh, male or female friend or lover I don't know but I don't feel like you need to be having I don't feel like you need to be softening your heart at this time um, for this person right I feel like you need to be completely indifferent or gray rocking somebody here they may even there might be a gift coming to you i'm seeing libra i'm seeing libra this could be your person or this could be um uh like like it could be a romantic connection or it could be a friend or connected to someone you know but whatever it is it's like for some of you you're you know the eight of cups is temporary separation but i feel like Currently, you're going to like go away for a little while or emotionally detach. And I feel like this person is going to try to draw you in to cause you heartbreak or something. <clears throat> but then I think either going forward, you're going to remain emotionally detached. You might tell them you're coming back and then decide you're not coming back. That's why I was picking up that waiting energy. All right, I'm going to, I was looking to see if they wanted me to, yeah, they want one more card on the emperor. Oh, the six of pentacles waiting for you so they can give back. To, I don't trust it. This person represents, whoever your person is, they kind of, uh, for some of you, it's a father of your children. But if you have kids or grandkids, for some, it could be your son, um, which, gosh, heartbreaking, but... And this person kind of, you know, comes in as like, so let me tell you real quick, the Six of Pentacles, I mean, a lot of people are like, oh, it's reciprocity. It's really not. I mean, it can be, but, <coughs> excuse me, the guy on here, he gives out of a sense of duty, right? Like a father pays for things for his kids because it's the right thing to do and that's what he should be doing some fathers are doing it because they love their children and they want to give and others are just like well this is my job you know the six of pentacles it's the job okay it's like it's like the politician you know that the, the sneaky type politicians that you know st go knocking at the door trying to get the votes and say they're going to give you something it's conditional you know um it's a duty it's it's a duty but they this person does rep, come across like that but they also kind of like play this well i do this and i do that 
for everybody. I do this and I give to you and I give you so much and I pay for this and I pay for that, that kind of thing. But it's like not done out of love. You know, it, it just feels very conditional. And I'm not saying that whoever reads this card, other tarot readers are wrong. This is how I learned that, but I also, it, it is a sense of giving back, but I also feel like it comes from, like I said, a place of, um, it's like one-sided charity, like it's selfish, okay? Um, the, the reciprocity part is like the receiving end here at these children um, or anyone on the receiving end, but these, these other people aren't able to give back and that's why this person does give, but just remember, like they don't expect anything in return, but this person in particular does kind of throw it out there, like almost bragging like, well, I do this and I do that and look at all that I do. You know, just kind of how the reading started a little bit. Um, I don't like that energy. I really don't. Ugh. Okay, Page of Cups, sensitive, open-hearted, inexperienced, moody. Uh, messages regarding relationships, new emotional experiences or romantic encounters, social invitations or events, heightened psychic abilities. I feel like with this Page of Cups, um, mm -hmm. that's our communication to you. You know, oh, what can I help you with? What can I do? This is a card about like volunteer work. Remember I was saying, look at all this stuff I do. They may communicate that to you or they were or they are now or will going forward, you know, but the page is very immature energy. Even here, the page of pentacles, you know, I give and I give and I give and it's too much and, you know, but look at all that I do. I don't know. Mm, maybe it's just, okay, here's the empress. Time to take action. Give birth to your dreams. Creative projects will be very successful. Abundance and prosperity. For some of you, your mother is with you. She's watching over you like a guardian angel. Look at her. If you're in a troubling situation. But just remember, this reading is general, okay? If you're in something that's really not going, like you're in a really like traumatic, difficult situation, I, I would suggest seek like outside counsel of some sort, not just a tarot reading. This is strictly for guidance. Um, okay, the page of earth, scholarly, cheerful, dependable, mischievous, time to get to work. An excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships. A new area of study. This could have something to do with school. It could also be this person, you know, coming in with this communication, like I was saying. But the Empress, I feel like communication from her about, you know, she's trying to help you. There might be text messages. This is someone in your life, text messages, or you even communicating with yourself, going back to school, changing your job, your career. I just feel like this, I'm trying to start over here. Okay, yeah, transformation, a significant life experience that requires changes to be made, Virgo. Powerful and often unexpected revelations, breaking free, releasing old belief systems. All right, that's the tower, unwanted change, upheaval, a major transformation coming here. No doubt, you're making changes and it's coming upon you and you, you know, phew, I mean, you could do whatever you need to, you have to do whatever you need to do, Virgo. That's how I feel. And I just feel like if you were hoping to reconcile with this person or make things right, I feel like now's not the time. I feel like you need to get some clarity or figure out, you know, what your next steps are. You need to seek some advice or try to get people who are supportive of you to help you because no matter what's, what weaknesses you're operating out of, Virgo, because we all have them. We all have our flaws. We all make mistakes, you know, whatever. But you want people around you who say, you know what? I get it. You're human. You made a mistake. I love you anyway. It doesn't, you know, I hope that next time you make a better decision, you know, um, and you don't, Virgo, it, it doesn't help you to have someone 
draw attention to your mistakes because Virgo, you are the one sign in the zodiac that is so aware of your flaws and so aware of your own mistakes. Having someone else point it out to you only makes it worse because you are always like, you say something or you do something, maybe you don't come right back, but you you go into that room of yours or something, you're like, oh, you analyze what you said or you, you go over the conversations or you think, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. But so when someone's coming at you too much, Virgo, you start taking on this guilt and you, you gotta get away. And I feel like yesterday reading, like today is just reaffirming, I guess, yesterday's reading. It's interesting how it's all in succession. And I don't know why you need to hear it, but somebody needs to hear it. And I hope that you get some wise counsel and some peace of mind, really, Virgo. You just need a little peace of mind so you can think clearly. Um, I will say I'm not really seeing severe abuse. I just feel like you've got somebody here who plays, you know, the victim card. And it's they're putting guilt on you and that doesn't sit with you. All right, Virgo, I'm sorry. Maybe tomorrow I'll have like rainbows and skittles and unicorns of love for you. I just that wasn't today. <laughs> All right. Um also go over to my other channel if you want love messages as well. That might be better. Um, I've my other channel is Moon Pie Tarot. You can go over there. I, I just uploaded the three month summer reading for Virgo. It just click on playlists and you'll see it. Um, if that gives you a little more information or whatever you might need, and I have other zodiacs on there too. All right, Virgo, love you. I'll see you soon. Bye.